Hey guys, how are you? My name is Janae and today I'll be showing you guys just like a collective haul of everything that I've been getting going garaging, like going to yard sales and going to estate sales on the weekends because I do that every freaking weekend, okay? So I'm going to start with the non-clothing items first and most of these things I got for free. So I'm just going to show you guys. First, we got this huge tripod which is better quality than any tripod that I've ever owned. And I got it for free. Literally, it was like 12 o'clock. Me and my mom, we were driving through a neighborhood because they were having a community yard sale and they had about 50 yard sales in this one neighborhood. Just imagine that. 50 yard sales in one neighborhood. Exactly. So it was like 12 o'clock and it was an older people neighborhood. I don't know how to ex say that. This tripod was sitting out on the side of the street there was supposed to be like some sharing organization or something that comes and picks up your stuff and like the whole community was donating all of their stuff after the yard sale so they were putting this for donation and i think that it's a little bit broken that's why that they were doing that because i have it closed but it keeps sliding only when i put pressure on it and so yeah it's actually really nice other than the fact that it keeps sliding a little bit but my other tripods I've got from Walmart and they're nowhere near anything this durable. So that's that. The next thing I got was this purse. It's by the brand Candies. My mom said that this was like um, Britney Spears perfume or something. So it must have been like Britney Spears brand or maybe just be Candies. I don't know. And this lady gave it to me because I had picked it up and then I put it down and she was like, that matches your coat. You know what? Go ahead and have it. And I was like, huh? It's just like, yeah, it's yours. And I was like, ma'am, <laughs> seriously? And she just gave it to me. Like, it had some stains on it, but I just put some spray and wash on there. And they're out. And let me show you the coat. So this is the coat. And she saw me pick this up. It was a little cold outside. And usually, I don't ever get to wear this coat unless I'm in, like, North Carolina. And, yeah, she said that this matched my jacket, which it does a little bit. And she gave it to me. And the next thing that I got was this yoga mat. My mom actually has the exact same yoga mat. It says Evolve. It's pink and purple. It's super cute. It's reversible. And then it comes with this little like shoestring holder. And my mom has this exact same one. We got it from an estate sale a long time ago. And then we saw this one and I think we got it for a dollar. The next thing that I got that I'm so in love with is these uh, measuring cups they're hearts so it comes with one fourth one third a half cup and then a whole cup and i just thought they were so cute and i'm going to be taking them on my car traveling journeys um they are perfect and i figured that i just need to go find some teaspoon and tablespoon measuring utensils but that'll be in the future and the next thing that i got because i got a sewing machine for christmas i found this what do you call this? String holder. And it came with all these things. I got it for $3. They wanted 5 for it. There's so many different color strings. And I know that this stuff can be expensive. And it's so cute. And it opens up by taking down that latch. And you just open it up like that. Then it has like these little drawers. And there's even more string. And then this is so funny because I am not a sewer as of yet. I've never sewed anything and when I was looking at this I was like look it's a monopoly piece and my mom just started busting out laughing and she was like you know there is such thing called a thimble and I was like what what is that and this is what that is so yeah that was probably embarrassing but I didn't know so now I need to go to my grandma's house so she could teach me how to sew I tried to look it up on YouTube how to use the sewing machine that I have, but it was too much. And I was like, you know what? No. All right, y'all. So if you thought any of that other stuff was cool, and please forgive this. It is a little dirty because we have used it. But I found this Sweethearts Waffle Maker by Black & Decker. But they're literally heart-shaped waffles. It's four hearts. And I literally am so, I was so in love with this right here. I saw it and like the little, the little indicator light is a heart as well. Like, oh my gosh. When I got this home, I literally, 
I was like, all right, I'm going to wash the dishes. I washed all the dishes and then I took that thing. I took a, a toothbrush. I put some water and some soap in there. And I literally scrubbed the heck out of that thing and made waffles for dinner. That's how you know you're in love. And then made waffles for breakfast the next day. That thing is so freaking cute. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. It's so cute. And then, you know, my freaking heart. And I didn't even get them at the same place. That's the crazy thing. I don't even remember where I got these from. But when I saw them, I was like, oh, yeah, they're mine. Oh, I got these at an estate sale. They were a dollar. No, they were $3. So they were $1.50 because if you go on the last day, most estate sales have like 50% off. So that was a plus. And I believe that is going to be it for the non-clothing items. Oh, actually, let me show you all this. I got this from an estate sale. The same estate sale that I bought my um, Wolfgang Puck multi cooker, and both of these are good items are going to be used for my car life journey, which a lot of this stuff is. I found so 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 much stuff for my car life journey just by going to yard sales and estate sales and all that type of stuff. I remember somebody, I think it was Alyssa Vanilla, saying, "Or anyway, I remember watching somebody say." to go to yard sales and go to estate sales and you'll be surprised at what you can find and you really will be because like just i literally got a whole like good japan made tripod for free i got that sewing kit for three dollars i got this purse for free i got that basket this um yoga mat i got a whole multi cooker i've gotten like a insulated bag that's in my car right now I've gotten so much stuff from yard sales. That freaking waffle maker? That is just the icing on the cake. That thing has made me so freaking happy. It just makes me so happy. It's so cute. Like, I love hearts. I got my little heart belly button piercing. I have some heart earrings. So let's go into the clothing items. And the first clothing items is going to be this shirt and these shorts. Levi's. Got them, you know, the little patch. They're literally so freaking cute. Got them for $2. I mean, $2 is a little expensive for some shorts. I like to pay, it's not expensive at all, but I like to pay dirt cheap for clothing items. And this shirt was 50 cents, and I believe that it's like Banana Republic. It's a size small. Alrighty, so this is the next, the next two pieces. I got this shirt from a yard sale. I don't know how I feel about it 100%. It's like super tight. It's almost making me feel claustrophobic like I need to throw up or something. Like, I don't know. It's making me feel some type of way. Like up here in my stomach. And then I got these Adidas. This Adidas like skirt thing. It's like, it says Climat. I'm going to use it as like a swim bottom instead of like a bikini bottom. I'm just going to wear these and the top. It's cute, super cute. The shirt, on the other hand, might go right back to a yard. So I'm pretty sure that I bought it for like either a dollar or 50 cent and it had stains on it. That's why I think that I got it for 50 cent because I was like, since it has stains, can I get it for a lower price? But I don't remember what the original price that she told me was. But I also got another shirt from this same yard sale, but I forgot what shirt. All right, y'all. So the next shirt is this little like, corset top but it's not a corset i don't know it connects by these little buttons yeah it's cute it's got these little details up here i really like it this is this the um other top that i bought from that of the yard sale with that white shirt next i got this bathing suit top it was a dollar man i can't remember where i got these clothes from i feel like it was the same yard sale that i got this little skirt from it says that it's a size large but i was so confused because for a large i was like there's no way somebody with a large amount of chest is going to fit into this because like my chest are not that big and i don't know it just wasn't making sense for me yeah here's gonna be the fit for summer can y'all see the pictures eat the girls up period we all gonna eat this summer Ew. because everybody is beautiful don't let anybody tell you different okay i'm talking to you don't let anybody tell you different everybody is beautiful we're all beautiful and we all deserve to feel ourselves we all deserve to feel like that b because we are that b as in that
So I'm about to show you guys the next thing. Okay guys, this shirt I got for 50 cents at a yard sale. This shirt is so soft. It feels so nice and it's just like such great quality. This is why I love thrifting and going to garage sales because people will spend their hard earned money on nice quality stuff and then when they're tired of it, what do they do? They don't throw it away, they try and sell it again or they try and donate it. Why not? Why not get that lightly used shirt that looks great and feels amazing because it's great quality. We are about to go into dresses now. So get ready to get your mind blown. Yeah. So guys, I bought this corset for a dollar as well. I forgot about it, but I've never worn it because I don't know how to figure it out. I've been struggling. Like I've been trying to figure it out. The back is like this string and so I took it out the, the top two holes because I couldn't get it to fit around my like bust I guess that's what it's called and I was struggling bro like I think I need somebody's help somebody in the back who can like get it maybe I should start with it buttoned up in the front and then have somebody lace it up in the back I think that might be I'm gonna ask my mom when she gets home if she can maybe help me with that because realistically this is not a one person job if you are able to put on like a corset, a corset like this i mean it's cute though isn't she cute if you're able to put one of these on by yourself you literally are like talented because i was struggling with my stomach hurting everything that's that's a different level of trying right there your stomach started hurting because you was trying so hard like what that was a whole sport. But I've been trying my dresses now. Been trying my dresses now. And there's one dress that I absolutely love. I mean, I love all of them. But there's two dresses that I absolutely love. One dress that I thought was really cute until I tried it on. And it smelled like old lady. And the, sh the smell was so overpowering that, like, I had to rewash it because it was, like, horrible like it stunk so bad um but i'm gonna try it on for you guys Alrighty, guys so here's the dress this is the dress that i absolutely love like i i love this dress i i could just i don't know it's a dress and it's got little pockets there's like it's see-through like certain parts are see-through so i can just uh, envision myself i envisioned it to be kind of like this and maybe like a little tighter but it is what it is that's fine with me when i learned how to sew maybe i can fix her up a little bit but this is so beautiful it has two pockets and i just envision myself with my docks on and some like some type of tights i don't know that's how i saw it in my head whenever i saw this dress but and like some type of undershirt this is so cute i honestly love this it gives baker it kind of looks like an apron let me come closer for you guys and everything alrighty guys look at this dress do I give like Velma like for some it's giving it had this little like pin on it but it's giving like preppy I don't know it's it's a, a dress right and then it has this it looks like a sweater and then a skirt but it's like a dress it's one piece and it zips up in the back I think it's super cute. I think that it might be wool because it's a little itchy, but it's super cute. If this had pockets, it does! It does have pockets! Oh, and freaking G. OMG. OMG. That was like, <laughs> that was great. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love this. I love this. This is the dress that stunk, but it doesn't stink anymore. And this dress is very old. This dress is like 70s, I think. Like, I don't know. That's what my mom was saying. She's like, this is giving 70s. But this little slip that's on the inside of the dress is like broken on the sleeve. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure I got this for like $4. But for this to be like a dress from like a vintage dress, this is in very great condition. And I'm like super grateful. Like it's so cute. Like the little details in the back. Like it looks like an actual sweater type thing. Like it looks like two separate pieces, but it's one piece. And I just love it and a lot of older people you like wear pins to decorate on their clothing so i might find me like a butterfly pin or like a heart pin or maybe i just won't do any type of pin i'll just wear jewelry 
But speaking of jewelry, bought this ring for one dollar, and I think it's super cute. Yeah, I'm super in love right now. Like this dress just gave everything it needed to and more. Like I'm like I didn't like it at first when I first tried it on. I was so disgusted by the smell. And I'm sorry to all the old ladies who wear that specific perfume, but it honestly makes me want to throw up. And it still smells like it a little bit, but that it was so overpowering that it stunk so bad. Like I literally, literally was going to throw up. Like I think my mom soaked it or something, but. All right guys, so if you watched my last video, you would know I got this dress from an estate sale. For $6, I went on the last day. They originally wanted $12 for it. And I was like, yeah, I'm not paying $12 for this dress. If it's really supposed to be mine, then I'll come back tomorrow and it'll be mine. And I, I went back and they were trying to charge $8. The, the lady was like, I can give it to you for $8 because she was like, they're going to go half price after 12. And I went at like 10 and I was like, nah. So I went to some other yard sales, came back and it was still there. And look at the back. The back is what really gets me just open i just think that is so cute and yeah i just feel like it i love the color purple and these little like starfish like flower things are so cute i just think it's so cute it's like a clingy dress i, I just love it i love it and you know this dress is worth more than six dollars like they paid way more than six dollars for this the trunk is so cute and if i ever want to go somewhere where i need to dress nice or want to need to wear a dress or want to wear a dress i mean i don't feel like this dress is like super dressy to where i can't wear it places like i mean i don't know what i'm trying to say but i feel like you can dress this down or up and i feel like i'm gonna get my six dollars out of it and i really love it now this dress that i have on i don't really think that i can dress it down it's kind of like a prom dress or something just tilt you guys down so you can see the whole thing and you know, I really just love the colors of this dress and like the little sparkles and junk. I really just think it's really cute. I mean, maybe I could wear this to like, <laughs> I don't know, but the time will come to where I need to wear this dress. I just feel it. I just know. You know what I'm saying? I'll go somewhere. Or maybe I'll keep this dress and somebody else in my family will love to wear it. And then there you go. Bought this dress for them. And I just think it's so beautiful. I'm going to send it to my sisters and be like, do y'all like this? I know y'all probably have like winter formals or something coming up. I just, just because I don't know when or where I could wear this dress. But I absolutely love it. It like flatters my body, everything like, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. You're doing it. She's doing it. She's doing the thing. Maybe it could be a little longer. I don't know. Is it short? Is my body too much for this dress? It's a 3-4 and I'm really more like a... <laughs> I'm like a whatever I can fit into. I don't even know what size I am. I wear boys clothes too much to even know for real. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what your favorite thing that I bought. All of my garage sale and thrifting, all of it. Tell it can be non-clothing related or clothing related. It doesn't matter. But I would love to know your opinion. What was your favorite dress? All of it. If you love that freaking waffle maker, like I love it because I love that waffle maker. <sighs> I'm just so happy. So yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.